Hi everyone, today we want to demonstrate making breakfast burritos for you. There's a couple things to discuss first. You can see our table layout and then we always want to have our recipe book out to the correct page and we want to have a digital scale available, especially in the beginning making sure frequently that you're weighing your toppings to achieve the correct weight of ingredients. Here's our table layout. You can see we've got the proper utensils in each bin. Also, there's a couple of things we need to share here. We use level scoops in two of the cases. Number one, with our cheese, we always use a level scoop, and that's one level scoop for each burrito. The other case where we use a level scoop is with our salsa, one level scoop of salsa. All the remaining scoops are overfilled scoops to achieve the proper weight. Okay, we're using a 36 inch table here, so we're going to place three 12 inch tortillas on the table. There's a smooth, shiny side. There's also a porous, softer side. We wanna make sure we're using the smooth, shiny side. Again, the liquids will leak through the softer side so use the smooth shiny side. Okay, let's get our other tortilla out and we'll get started. Okay, today we'll be making a ham burrito for you, a sausage burrito, and also a bacon burrito. So using our assembly line process, we'll use an overfilled scoop. That's a three ounce ladle. When overfilled, you will achieve about 0.15 pounds of potatoes. Also leave a couple of inches on each side of the potatoes so when you fold that burrito up, it's the size of a medium sandwich, which is about eight inches. Okay, and next we're going to put one level scoop, again, a level scoop of cheese across the top of the potatoes on each burrito. That's one level scoop. Next, we're gonna make a ham burrito. So we've got an overfilled scoop of ham to put on the first burrito. Then we'll use an overfilled scoop of sausage for the next burrito. And then one overfilled scoop of bacon for that third burrito on the table. And now we're going to apply one level scoop of salsa to each of the burritos we've made. Okay, our next step in the process is to apply our eggs. Using our three ounce scoop, we use overfilled scoops of eggs. You can see there's one scoop for each half of the burrito. There's our first half our second half, all right we're getting our burritos organized we're ready to start folding those. Remembering we want to achieve an 8 inch length so a couple inches of space on each side. Fold each side in and then the bottom up over the ingredients making it look similar to an envelope Tuck all the ingredients inside the envelope. Hold it down snugly to the table. And keeping the sides straight, roll that up. Put it on your foil wrap. Folding it up just like you would a normal 8 inch sandwich and there you have it, your 8 inch size burrito. We'll do those other two now. Okay, we're wrapping up our final burrito. We'll put that in with the others in our storage box, putting that in a cooler so it achieves 40 degrees or below until it's ready to be heated for service or wrapped for a cold storage case.